loves good afternoon or good morning evening whatever time it is or where you are oh my goodness what a day what a day so i hope that you are all doing well thank you for joining So um, if you are watching this live stream back and um, you would just like to sort of keep up with the conversation as we go, then um, if you go to the video description, click on live chat um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, I'm really sorry, I've just, <laughs> I've just taken some of my brief in and I've sort of, I sort of guzzled them down a bit too quick. Um, <clears throat> Yes, yeah, so if you want to keep up with live chat, go to the video description, click on live chat and you'll be able to see the conversation as it's happening. Hi Penny, good afternoon my love. Yeah, I'm alright, um, I'm really tired because this was like second night in a row where I didn't get to sleep till like pushing six o'clock this morning and then I was up again just before nine. Uh, I just hope that I don't have like an, a third night <clears throat> like that, but we'll see. Um, but I thought, you know, I'll I'll stream now. Um, I want to see how it would go if I start streaming a bit earlier on a Wednesday, because um, of course Jane streams on um, like the evening times, doesn't she? From sort of six till eight UK time. Um, and I figured by the time, like, you know, the eight o'clock stream is finished, then maybe I've got set up and stuff. Um, I, I don't know. And obviously with, like, the poor lighting and stuff, and especially if it's, you know, going to start coming in darker, um, you know, sort of September time, September or October. So I just wanted to see how streaming a little bit early on a Wednesday would, would go, and then we'll do an, an evening on a Saturday. Hi Dawn, hello my lovely. Hi Ashley. Hi Amanda. Oh, welcome ladies. Thank you for joining. How are you all doing? <clears throat> um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to colour in because I was debating between the page in here that I've started or this double page whip from Mythic World, but the issue that I'm having, excuse me, is that <clears throat> I've had a look through my swatch book and I cannot find anywhere the colour combo that I've used for his skin, all these rocks on his back. So I was like, okay, that's out of the question until I figure out what what prismas or polys I was using. So I thought we would work in this book. <clears throat> Yeah, it's my pain's been through the roof, Penny, but then I haven't managed to get to the pharmacy to pick my stuff up yet, so yeah. <laughs> and it's hot as well, it's really humid. Hi Madison, hello my love. Hi Leslie, good to see you. Hi Anna. Hello, sweetheart. Hi Shayna. Oh my goodness, thank you all so much for joining. It's really good to see you all. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I thought today we would work in um, Old Small Rice by Crystal Vogel. Um, I started this page in here. Um, what day are we on now? Wednesday. So Monday, Monday night. I just, I wanted to see um, the sort of um, skin tones I could get with my Brute Funa square pencils and I got a really nice sort of blend here so I thought okay this page isn't you know it's not a big book there's not too much going on so I'm sure I can get this done before the end of the month um, and it's just so cute isn't it so I thought we would uh, 
<clears throat> I thought we'd work in this one. I'm really sorry, my screen is uh, my screen's freezing. Hi Annette, welcome. Oh, you're on the road to the beach. That sounds like a plan, Madison. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good right now. <laughs> it really does. <clears throat> but how are you all? What have you all been up to? I'm just debating whether to use my um my Amazon Basics coloured pencils or whether to just carry on with the brute foolish squares to be quite honest hi monique welcome it's lovely to see you thank you so much for joining oh shana no need to apologize sweetheart i understand i just appreciate you taking time to to join hun it's really good to see you right do you know what i'm going to move those out of the way <clears throat> Let me read those. We'll just we'll just carry on with the brief finish, shall we? Let's just let's just do that. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are, but geez, here it is like oh, it is so hot and humid. I'm like literally, I feel like I'm melting. <laughs> so. Do you, um, do you want me to zoom in a bit? Oh, a bit too much. Yeah, we, we know what this Zoom situation is like when I'm trying to stream, don't we? It just doesn't work very well. Oh, jeez, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, bless, <laughs> bless you, Madison. I bet you look beautiful. This, the book really is gorgeous in there. Um, I can't remember if I purchased it, um, when was it? I think it was either the very end of July or the beginning of August. Um, and this is going to be my first page in here. Um, I'm going to pick out some greens for these lily pads. So let's try... Um, let's do, seventy nine, eighty, eighty one, and then maybe. Forty-five. Let's see. We'll see how these come out. <clears throat> oh, don't worry, Dawn. No, no need to apologise, Han. That's not a problem at all. I hope your appointment goes well. So let's uh, just sharpen these pencils a little bit. Yeah, it's really hot in Florida as well. Oh, bless you. I hope you're staying safe from the heat, hon. Bash on the Bay concert. Oh, that sounds amazing, Amanda. Oh, I hope you have a great time. Nicole, hello my lovely. Oh, <laughs> well there you go. See, <laughs> it was it was meant to be, right? Rather than me zooming with like the screen on my phone, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move the the camera down. We'll just we'll do it that way. <clears throat> but yeah, because I've I've not I've not been sleeping great at all. Um, I thought right, let's uh. Let's do a stream early <clears throat> and uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll just, we'll see how it goes, see how we get on. 
<clears throat> oh, that sounds amazing, Madison. That sounds so nice. Yeah, it is, it is way, way too hot here. I literally just had to pop to the corner shop just now. Um... <clears throat> just to get um i said to the kids you know they could choose like an ice lolly or some sweets or something and i got um a bottle of lemonade and some ibuprofen because i've got a bit of a toothache going on so i thought right let's try and nip that in the bud before uh you know <clears throat> before that starts getting a bit too much because I, with my back, like my pain and stuff at the minute, it's a bit of a catch-22 because I don't feel physically able enough to make it down to the pharmacy to pick up my meds. But I need my meds because that's got my pain stuff in it. Oh, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But I thought, right, for the moment, um, you know, I just want to get on top of this toothache. So... But even just going to the shop and back, the shop is less than like a two minute walk from the house. Um, so I thought, right, let's just quickly, you know, nip up the shop and get home. And yeah, it was way too hot. Just just going out up to the shop and back. <clears throat> it really is, Amanda. It is so cute. And, you know, because the because it's quite a nice size i don't think these pages would take too i mean it would definitely go quicker if i was to use alcohol markers but there's some really cute images on like um if i show you on like the page on the other side even though it's not a full page and i don't want to ruin them so i thought no i, I want to have a I want to have a play with my brute food and square pencils because I haven't used them sort of just it's like a standalone thing on a on a page. So I really wanted to just give that give that a go. <clears throat> oh, hi Debska, hello my love. How are you doing today, sweetheart? Oh, it's it is what it is, but yeah, it's definitely what's been keeping me awake all night, the last two nights. So I think tomorrow I'm just going to have to sort of bite the bullet and just take a really slow walk down to the pharmacy with the kids to pick up my prescription. Um, but there's just no way I feel able to do that today. I think even if I was to use the crutches, I would still struggle. So, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get down there tomorrow. But I've been uh, really loving doing just like pencil work lately. Um, I think, you know, doing that ogre in the Mythomorphia book. Yeah, that... Uh, that certainly helped. Hi Claire, hello my love, thank you for joining. Yeah, I know there's another one, uh, Nicole. I don't have that one. Because um, I thought, you know, I just want to try one first and see what I think. And of course, I absolutely love it. So... <laughs> So yeah, I, I will hopefully get the other book at some point, but um, I I did treat myself this week. Um, I wasn't going to, I was going to just hold on until like I'd finished getting all the, the last bits of the kids for, sc for school. Um, but I just thought, no, do you know what, I'm, I'm going to treat myself. So I ordered um, two books and... Um, Actually, they arrived about um about an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. <clears throat> I ordered the um space colouring book by Hannah Carlson. 
this is a case of third time lucky for me because I've tried ordering this twice before and both times my order was cancelled. I have no idea why. And I was like, oh, do you know what? It's not urgent. I'll, do, I'll just wait, put it on the back burner. Um, yeah, so I finally ordered that one. And then I also ordered RJ Hampson's new one, the Lost and Found book. So gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. And then I found these and I was really intrigued. And they do stain sprays as well. But I'm trying to find out what the difference between the mica spray and the spray stain is. Um, but yeah, these are by Ranger. Um, this is a mica spray. So we've got antique bronze, tarnished brass and... I can't read that other colour. I don't know. But yeah, they're like a mica spray. So yeah, I do I have a bit of mum guilt, don't get me wrong. It arrived and I was like, oh yeah, but that was like, you know, 25 quid. I could have, you know, used on like, you know, some more skill bits and pieces. But it's it's done now and it, it sounds awful, but I think just like after the weekend and stuff, it was like, yeah, I just I just want to get a little, a little pick me up. So, oh, thank you, Nicole. Thank you, sweetheart. <clears throat> we changed the beds and got some laundry done. We try not to nap. Oh, bless you, Penny. Oh, are you going to try and get an early night tonight, Han? The the books, Claire, or the the spray, I've never used anything like that before. And I was just like, ooh, <laughs> that, looks, that looks fun. I'm really sorry. I'm going to just try and move the, the phone a little bit. Cause my, yeah, my tripod's been a bit of a pain. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they had different, oh, here we go. Yeah, see, my, my camera done that to me the other day as well. Um, they have different colours in what they call a spray stain. But yeah, I want to do a bit more research on that because I don't really want to buy anything like that if I'm going to spray it on a page and then it's going to potentially like bleed through. So... Oh, bless her, Madison. There's nothing wrong with her. It's just, you know, different milestones in life, you know, happens at different different paces for people, doesn't it? You know, there's nothing wrong with her. Oh. Nouveau for something similar. Oh, do they have different colours as well, Claire? Because there were some really, really beautiful sort of like plum and raspberry colours and I was like, oh, I bet they would look so pretty. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to try any of the colours. Or, sorry, I don't want to try the spray stain until you know, I, I figure out if it's going to um, bleed through pages or not. If it's a single-sided book, then, I, you know, I don't I don't care. But um, if it was like a Hannah Carl's on book or, you know, something like this, I yeah, I wouldn't want it to, I wouldn't want it to, um, to bleed through. Nikki, hello sweetheart, thank you for joining. Oh bless you Penny, just take it easy my love and you know, listen to your body. You know, I, I know that's easier said than done sometimes isn't it, but 
Yeah, just just try and take it easy, Han. How how are you with your seizures? Have you had any today, or are you are you good at the moment? <clears throat> yeah. So going back to what I was saying earlier about um trying like this earlier live stream, you know, like on a Wednesday. Um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting to know what what you guys think or whether you would prefer them of an evening. The, the Saturday ones, they will be an evening, you know, that will, I'll try and keep that the same unless anything ever crops up. But, um, you know, because uh, our gorgeous Jane, bless her, because she streams nine times out of ten, like Monday to Friday of an evening from six till eight, I thought, hmm. I might try and do mine a little bit earlier on a Wednesday and it might be a case of um, when the kids are back at school, the Wednesdays, the live streams might actually be in the morning. You know, in the morning after school run or when I'm back from school run, um, you know, and the kids, like if I do them like an early dinner so that my stream is done before Jane starts at six, I'm, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to see what, you know, what you guys all thought. Nicole, I'm using the, um, the Brute Funer Square Pencils. Oh, bless you, Penny. Well, at least you haven't had any today. That's good, isn't it? You know, small victories. Take, take the little wins. <laughs> I've been trying to think of um, videos that I want to record as well. Um, so maybe I'll get a few things recorded tomorrow. We'll see. I had um, a text from... Um, one of Aaron's childhood friends earlier um, because she's the lady that we're getting our new fair baby from. Um, obviously we were supposed to have Phoenix, well, the, the cat that then ended up being called Bear. Um, we were supposed to have um, her from from Sharon but because uh, Bear and, and her, um, her brother Rocco had like such a close bond, I, I said to Sharon, I was like, I, I can't separate them um, but there is a new litter of babies and um, yeah we are uh, picking up our fair baby next Saturday I'm so excited cannot wait um, because we you know we wanted to get um, one of these kittens you know sort of like for, kind of you know for Aaron for his memory as well you know because it's like I said to Sharon before I know for a fact that as soon as she had said on Facebook that Mavis her cat was pregnant Aaron would have been like oh, well you know we love cats we, you know we've we, we've always had cats and you know we, we'd love to open up our arms and our home and our hearts to another edition you know so yeah it gives us something to look forward to this month which is nice and that will give me like a positive for the month of august you know that'll be one anniversary for august that doesn't make me sad it'll be a a gotcha day you know so, yeah, I'm really excited. <clears throat> oh, bless you, Penny. Um, we will have three, Claire, but um, I've got a feeling. Do you know what? Actually, no, I don't have a feeling. 
I think we're going to get two. <laughs> we're going to get two because one of the one of the boys, um, he was going to go with his twin, um, but the person who was having them, he's decided to only just take the one now, and I was like. There is no way I am leaving a fair baby without any of his siblings, so we're gonna have two. So we'll, we will have four all together. Oh, yeah, same Debska. <laughs> yeah, the same. We're, we're the crazy cat family, and do you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't mind you can call me the crazy cat lady if you want. Yeah. So we get our new our new additions next Saturday. I was gonna keep it a surprise that we're actually gonna get two. Um, but like when I was talking just now, I was like, I can't, I need to say something. Yeah, we we're, we're getting two. So I'm really excited. And I think it'll be nice for them because obviously our two boys are are a bit older. Link is four and a half. Arlo is um, two. It'll be two and a half, I think, by the end of the year. Um. So, I think it would be nice for like the two babies coming into the household to have, you know, a cat of their own age to play with, you know, and to have that company. And like I said, for you know the the sibling to not I, don't, I just couldn't I couldn't take a kitten knowing that there was just one left without like without a forever home I couldn't I'd be like ah well we'll take them both <laughs> so yeah that's what we've done Yeah, I've heard lots of different things about the um, CBD oil, Nicole. Um, I guess it's down to the individual, really, isn't it? I've I've never tried anything like that. I know um, people say you can use it for pain and stuff as well, but I, I don't. I just I'm a bit of a wimp, you know. I tend to just stick to what i'm prescribed you know i'm not, i'm not knocking anyone who who does try cbd oil or anything like that i'm i'm really not but i'm just saying from from me personally because i'm a wimp i just stick to what my doctors prescribe um but i have heard good things about it hi heather hello my love I will, yeah, I absolutely will show them on the channel. I can't wait. And I, I you know, I've said to Sharon, I said, you know that they're going to be spoiled and loved and, you know, given, like, the best life possible, don't you? And she's like, Kate, absolutely. She went, I, I know. She went, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let them go if, if there was any sort of doubt in my mind. But no she was like i know that they they will want for nothing you know they'll be they'll be spoiled rotten so yeah can't wait exciting times <clears throat> i can't wait shana honestly we're getting a boy and a girl um we've got the names for them picked out already um, because, you know, when we were going to get the original kitten, um, not from this litter, but from a previous litter, we were going to call that kitten Phoenix, um, like sort of, you know, rise from the ashes kind of thing, you know, in memory of Aaron, something good coming out of a really awful situation kind of thing. But it didn't feel right to use the name that we were going to use for that kitten for one of these babies. Um... But, you know, Aaron really liked anything to do with, like, um, like just space, um, maps, j just, yeah, all, all different stuff, really into his history. Uh, and so I was like, okay, I would really like some names that represent, you know, like, 
stars or something to do with like the universe you know the galaxy so that's that's the theme of the names we've gone for i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell you the names just yet but we do have their names chosen and that is what they have been being called by to get used to them so yeah all exciting <clears throat> oh we're getting um two new kittens next weekend nicole i cannot wait i can't wait we've got to get a train to go and get them but it's only a short train ride i think it's about 20 30 minutes so yeah um really really excited so for those of you who have the brute funa square pencils because i was really late to the party with them um but i i think they're brilliant for a budget friendly pencil i think they're lovely um, so for those of you who have them, what, what do you think? What are your opinions on them? <clears throat> yeah, I'm the same, Claire. I, uh, you know, I know people say, oh, it will help with this, this and this, but I... I'm not saying, like, never say never, but I just feel safer sticking to what I'm prescribed. You know, it's like, I, I'm, I'm just going to stick to the advice of my medical professionals and just, do you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not knocking anyone who, who uses... CBD oil or anything like that I'm really not but just for me personally I'd rather just you know stick to what I'm prescribed <clears throat> oh bless her you wouldn't want to make things worse yeah I get it Claire I get it I I'm very much a natural warrior always have been you know it's probably why you know i'm, I'm completely gray <laughs> you know but yeah i i just rather stick to what i know and what i have you know what i've been prescribed have you that's what i was going to say claire have you been for your scan yet hun have you had your appointment or is it a little bit later? You like them for a budget pencil. Yeah, I, I think they're really nice. And I'll be honest, like Monday night when I was sat here trying to like I first of all I thought oh I'm gonna you know sit in colour in this book and I'm gonna use my brute funa pencils and blah 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 and then I realised oh, I haven't swatched them out so I sat and done that while I was watching um, Hunger Games um, I just have the pastel set to swatch now but I've done I swatched all the um, the you know the the regular um, the 120 set so that's that's all of these and then i'll just put like a, a little label here and just start the the macaron set in these columns um but yeah i i was really really happy actually with the skin tone that that um i got so um i am going to make a note of that actually in the in the swatch book i might just put like a little post-it note or something just you know sellotape it down as like an idea for um 
what do you call it? You know, skin tones. Your sister buys you bath bombs with it in, but you don't think it did anything. Oh, Claire, my my kids absolutely love bath bombs. Um, Emmy really likes the ones from Lush, so they're they're more pricey, but I think it's like a gift, something like that. I, d I don't mind. Yeah, it. That's. I'm not saying they're uncomfortable, Penny, because they're really not. If if they were uncomfortable, then I'd be like, mm, you know, I maybe need to think, think twice. But um, <clears throat> no, I'm actually finding them really quite nice to work with. And like I said to you yesterday, the um, for anyone else who who might be wondering. The sharpener, I mean, Penny were having this conversation yesterday, and the sharpener that I use for the square brute foonies is a um, a Statler dual-ended sharpener, and I use the bigger hole for them, and it works great. It, it, it does the job. It does the job. Oh, bless you, Claire. Are you resting now, hon? Oh, Nicole, no, you haven't upset anyone, hon. No, don't be silly. <coughs> no, not at all, my lovely. Yeah, fine, it's all good. <laughs> it is all good. Right, I'm just going to keep those greens out for these other lily pads I kind of want to colour his outfit um, so I want the water to be like a turquoisey blue these are going to be pink these are going to be yellowy orange um Let's see, so maybe, I don't want to throw too many colours at the page. Mm, I'm not sure. Exactly, Claire. Exactly, yeah, it was meant well. It, yeah, I, I understand what you mean, Penny, about the smell, but, like, w when I um took the kids for, like, a day out... <clears throat> Um, oh my gosh, I think it was, it wasn't that long really after Aaron had passed away and I said to them, you know, okay, you can all like choose a bath bomb from, from Lush and Caden chose a Super Mario one and it was like the, the yellow brick with like the question mark on it, 14 quid for this bath bomb and I was like, oh my God. So, <laughs> but I had said to them, you know, choose a bath bomb, blah, blah, blah. And that's what they did. So I, I can't, I can't complain. I can't, you know, whinge and, and moan when it's something that I've told them to do. And um, so he got that one. Emmy got a, it was called Follow the White Rabbit. So the bath bomb looked just like a, a white rabbit. But when you put it in the water, all the inside of it, when it was bubbling, it looked like a rainbow. It's so pretty. Um... I cannot remember the one Tegan got. I think it was like a pink and gold, I think. I can't remember. But honestly, by the time we had got like a bath bomb each, a couple of little like shower jellies, um, and I got a, a wax, a bar of like wax melt. It was like 71 quid. And I'm like, yeah, the, the, we're not gonna be doing that again in a hurry. So I think net from now on, if ever they want a bath bomb or anything from Lush, it'll be as like a, a, a birthday or a Christmas present. <laughs> like not to be tight, but it's like, that's, that's, that's a chunk of change, you know? Let's, I'm just thinking, if we're going to have pink on these flowers, why don't we do purple on this little guy? That might look quite cute.
you love Snow Fairy from Lush. Is is that a is that a bath bomb, Claire, or is it like a um like a shower gel or something? You're on the bed watching horrors. <laughs> you got the right idea. <laughs> she bought a galaxy bath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does she look like a smurf then? Oh, bless her. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet she was like, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to do... A 14... And one, one, three. Fourteen. One, one, three. Um. Maybe. That might be okay actually, you might be able to get away with just doing those two colours unless we pull in. Honestly, Penny, they make the bath look absolutely beautiful. They smell amazing. But the um, I'll be honest with you, the one that Caden had, the Super Mario one, when you know, like when the um, Mario movie was coming out and stuff. Um, this yellow bath bomb that looked like the the brick with the question mark on it. It looked like there was just gold glitter floating in the bath. <laughs> And it, it took a good, like, you know, three scrubs of the bath to make sure I'd got all the glitter off. Don't get me wrong, it looked beautiful. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a pain to clean. It was a pain to clean. But, um, oh, they, the you know, the kids loved it. Of course they did. You know, they, they would, wouldn't they? But, yeah. It was, um... That was a bit of a pain to, to clean up after. But it was cute because inside that bath bomb you got a little soap. But you, you wouldn't know which soap you got until obviously the bath bomb had, um, uh, like, you know, dilute, um, not diluted. What's the word? Like melted in the bath. Um, and Caden got the little blue mushroom. So if you're playing like a Super Mario game, it's the little tiny mushroom. And when you when you catch it, he makes you go like teeny, teeny, tiny. Yeah, so he had that hand soap in there. He's still got some of that left now, actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think things like that from Lush is going to have to be saved for birthdays and Christmases. <clears throat> yeah, I'm the same, Claire. I absolutely love my bath, but I, I will be honest with you um, lately because it's I've just been so hot. Oh, um, and I've been finding that I get quite lightheaded um, when I'm getting out of a bath. So I've been sticking to showers recently. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have been missing my baths and I, I'm like you. I love, I love bubble bath. I love stuff like that. But I need to be careful what I use with my skin because I, I've got really sensitive skin. And um, because I suffer with psoriasis as well, I've got to be quite careful 
but I think my favourite bubble bath has got to be the Radox, but it's the, the um, it's like a moisture soak one. It's really, really lovely. Um, I love that. I love anything like the, the Dove shower wash and bath stuff. I love that. Um, but yeah, my skin was actually fine with um, this bath bomb from Lush. So that was, it, it was nice, but yeah, at the minute I've, I've been just sticking to, um, sticking to my shower, but even though it's really, really humid today, I'm quite tempted to have a bath later, but just do it, you know, really quite cool. Um, and that might, yeah, might help me sleep a bit tonight as well. I'm at the point, I'll try anything just to get some sleep. <laughs> Like bath bombs do. Oh, bless her. Yeah, I love candles as well. I think, um, I'm I'm quite boring though when it comes to candles. I love anything like vanilla, sandalwood. Um, I I don't like anything with like cinnamon. That sort of like Christmassy spice. So, uh, no, I, I just, I don't like that at all. But vanilla and sandalwood are definitely my favourite. <clears throat> Hi, Dana, welcome. Thank you for joining, sweetheart. How are you doing, my lovely? I think it's lovely to have like bubble bath and candles and all that good stuff. I know like when I've heard um, people from the US say about, um, is it Bath and Body Works? Is that the place I'm thinking of, Bath and Body Works? And I think, um, oh, who was it? I, I can't remember, maybe it was like Carla Magana, because I know she likes all her candles and stuff as well, but I can't remember, but I know quite a long time ago now, it was maybe, I don't know, two, three years ago, I think someone was saying about this, like, a candle, but it was like, a, is it like candy cane or peppermint or something like that, and I just thought, oh, I bet that smells really nice, you know? I'm sure that's what it's called, Bath and Body, Bath and Body Wax. Oh, bless you, still trying to wake up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't like cinnamon or those kind of like spiced apple and stuff like that anyway, Penny. I just, I don't, I don't like the smell of it at all. Um... Yeah, I don't like the flavour of cinnamon in, in food either. Um, I know there's, is it like this breakfast bar or something my mum makes? It's kind of like a flapjack, but not 100%. It's, it's, but it's got like um, baked apple and, and um, raisins and stuff in it. And I'm sure there's a little bit of mixed spice or cinnamon in that and I don't mind that because it's very mild you can tell it's there but it's uh it's not offensive you know but um yeah I know if, it, if it's like the scent of stuff like that I just no I don't I don't like it, and like you, it gives me a headache. I can't, I, I cannot do the um, incense sticks either. They give me a headache. I'm fine with candles, I'm fine with wax melts, 
but I, I can't do incense sticks. <clears throat> Oh, that sounds lovely, Shayna. Yeah, see, I, I wish that, like, air conditioning was something that was, like, mandatory in in homes here. You know, that, like, your, your landlord or housing association or, you know, whoever, like, they would... Uh, fit it for you or you know I mean I, I guess you could have it fitted but it's just not not something you really see you see here um but if it was oh my gosh I don't think I'd ever want to turn mine off because I get I get like hot hot flushes and stuff as well which I don't think that's been helping with me just not being able to like manage a bath recently which is why I've just been sticking to showers um, and also sometimes it's a case of the kids are, excuse me the kids are bickering so they can't be trusted for me to leave them long enough for me to have a bath so it's got to be a quick like literally jump in the shower have a wash do my hair and back out again you know it's like a a quick in and out shower you know like a, a 10 minute and done sort of thing um but yeah i i have been missing my bath so i might i might run one tonight actually but just make it you know just like a just a warm normally if i have a bath i really like a hot bath you know because i like to be able to just i like to be able to just like lay and and soak but um yeah it's just too hot for that at the moment i think if i tried having a, a, a hot bath like that i think i, I would highly likely just pass out <laughs> i think me and my my hot flushes and stuff just yeah <clears throat> Hi Connie, hello my love, welcome, thank you for joining. Bath and Body Works, Christmas it's called Vanilla Bean Noel. Ooh, that sounds lush, that sounds beautiful Nicole. Twisted Peppermint. Yes, yeah, that I knew it was something peppermint. Yeah, Lisa Fall and Christmas Tree Farm. Oh, they sound lovely, Shayna. hope so Penny I mean I thought that that would be the case like the last couple of nights but it just it just hasn't and I've ended up still been awake at like you know gone it's like five six o'clock in the morning and then I'm awake again before nine o'clock which for me that's like that's a lay-in you know um but uh last two nights I'm I think combined the last two nights I've maybe had about six hours sleep in the last 48 hours and, and I'm just yeah I, I can't I can't do another night like that I, I just need to get some rest I was so tempted to try and have a nap earlier and I thought no I'm not because I 
I want to be able to sleep tonight. You know. Yeah, I, I'm quite liking these pencils, you know. <clears throat> I think I paid um, £25, I think, for these pencils, for 120 pencils, which is brilliant. I think that is just such a good a good deal, you know. <clears throat> okay, you laying down is really dangerous. Oh, bless you, Penny. Are you fighting to stay awake, Han? Oh, thank you so much for joining, Shayna. It was lovely to see you, darling. Take care, my love, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with my white um, jelly roll just to put these polka dots back in. I do want to keep them white. I just think that looks quite cute. Yeah, I'm really frustrated about that. Um, that page in Mythic World. Ugh. So I, I need to make a habit of like, if ever I'm in a situation like that where I think, oh, I'm going to put this book away for a bit, I need to make a note of my colour combos that I'm using and what pencils and stuff because, yeah. Now I have no idea what pencils I was using. I've I've got a feeling it was my Prismas. Um, but I, I I don't know. I'm sure. Thinking about it though, actually, I think I might have a live stream from quite some time ago where I was working on that. So I'm wondering if I've maybe mentioned the colours I'm using in that. Hmm. I might have to go back and have a look. We've just been to Glastonbury and the streets are amazing. I haven't, Nikki. I've never tried an oil blend or anything like that. Um, I've got, um, I was having this conversation with my mum earlier. I do have sleeping pills. Um, but I took a couple, um, I think it was last week or maybe last weekend. And they, they put me on my butt you know and that wasn't even the full dose either i thought i'll just i'll take two that's do you know what i mean um but yeah they don't get me wrong i slept but the following day i felt like a zombie and all i wanted to do was sleep the following day as well and obviously being on my own with the kids i can't do that so oh i don't know bit of a catch 22. mum said earlier well why don't we just try one of the tablets tonight and see how you get on with that, which isn't a bad idea to be honest. But if I could do things more naturally than take medication, because I I've got so many different medications I need to take that if there's even just like one or two things that I could do as like a an organic and natural way, rather than just more medication for my body, then I'd much rather do that to be honest. Oh, bless you, Penny. Just make sure you just rest, sit sit down, take it easy. You, you know, rest as much as you need to, hon. 
yeah, I quite like the colour on this. That's pretty. Um, <clears throat> I'm just thinking I might use that blend for these little flowers down here. They look a bit like some sort of cherry blossoms or something, don't they? So maybe I'll pull this combination down here onto these. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do recall working on it online, Penny, because I remember getting really frustrated with the water because I, I knew I wanted to make it look murky, but the colour that it turned out, I was like, I don't like it at all, and I still don't like it, and I'm half tempted to get another copy of the book. I know, it's ridiculous, but even if I did that, I know that I'd be, like, more than happy having two copies because it's that book the, the mythic world and mythomorphia they are my favorite carby books so i have no issue having two copies of them but i, I don't know i don't really want to do that unless i feel it's like completely necessary because i've been trying to get out of buying replacement books <clears throat> um A nice little brown uh -huh. let's try let's see what colors I've got here for this skin actually because was that okay 22 and let's try 24 one oh. <clears throat> yeah that makes sense Nicole bless your heart I've got a, um, you saying about some teas that help, I've got a, um, oh, a lemon green tea <clears throat> that, um, that I bought a few weeks ago and, and that's quite nice but I think the, I haven't even been drinking coffee because I've been so hot, so yeah I, uh, it's a tricky one you know yeah it's a tricky one i'm just using two different browns on the hair instead of three because because there's not a lot of it um you know Is so cute. What do you guys think? Really sweet. These remind me a little bit of um oh, what were they called? Um oh what's the name? Flower fairies, that's it. <clears throat> Lavender spray. Yeah, like a pillow mist or something. I remember I used to buy my nan, um, I think it was called Sleep Easy stuff from Avon. This was like, oh my goodness, like years and years ago when my nan was still here, bless her. Um, and yeah, she used to love anything like lavender and she used to grow it in her garden as well. And um, I remember buying her a pillow mist and a sleep balm, like a lavender balm. Um, so yeah, I, I used to buy that for her. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I, I know. 
I'm at the point where it's like, well, it's only been the last two nights, but saying that though, lately it's been a bit, you know, sleep has been an issue, but part of me is thinking, well, how much of that is because August is a rough month for me, you know, I, I don't know, but I, I do know that the last two nights has been due to pain. And like I said, that is partly my fault because I I haven't been and collected my prescription yet. So, you know, I, I accept responsibility that, you know, that is partly, you know, I'm I'm responsible for that. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. You're having a quiet day now the chores are done. Oh, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Put your feet up and chill out. How are you doing, sweetheart? To be honest, that's probably what I'll do once the stream is done. I'll just, uh, you know, sort the kids out their dinner and then I'll just chill until their bedtime. I don't I don't think this page will take too long to be honest I was so tempted to start a page in the new RJ Hampson book when it arrived earlier and I was like no no wait until I've done my um happy mail and haul video for the month I'm saying that this this book should be in that but oh, it's okay I might film that tomorrow actually, my um, happy mail and haul video for August and then I've got a video that video under my belt. I felt so awful because I had July's um, Disney colouring quiz, it was recorded, it was edited, it was sat there on YouTube, all I had to do was um, add the description, sort the thumbnail out and make it public and it was sat on my phone for Jeez, about two weeks like that, week and a half. I finally got that sorted last night. I was talking to Connor and he said about about it, and I was like, "Oh my god, do you know what? Let me just do that while I'm while I'm talking to you." So I done that last night, but. Yeah, um, obviously there hasn't been a colouring quiz for August, but <clears throat> it's no, it's really not Geelan, not at all, <laughs> really not at all. It's, it's my back more than anything. Um, yeah, I I can get them delivered, Nikki, but the problem that I'm having is, for one, our pharmacy charges for them to be delivered, and two, I still have to go and sign for them because a couple of the items in my monthly prescription are um, classed as like controlled medication so they have to be signed for so either way I'm still going to have to go down there anyway um, and they cannot take payment for the meds to be delivered over the phone either so it's yeah it's it's silly but to be honest when the kids are back at school I've got to walk past the pharmacy every single day to get to the school 
anyway. Um, yeah. But it, like I said, this is a lot of this is is my fault because I haven't been down to collect my medication. Um, but it's because I haven't I haven't felt well enough to. Um, I'm still recovering from COVID. Don't get me wrong, I feel so much better than what I did. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm still I'm still recovering from that. Um, my anxiety has been off the charts, so I've not wanted to leave the house. Y yesterday um, was the first time we'd actually left the house in, jeez, I, I don't know, I don't know. And it makes me feel guilty because the kids deserve better than that, you know. But I, I took them out yesterday. We went into town. We went to the, to the um, gelato shop. So yeah, it was it was it was really nice. The kids had a great time. I mean, we were out. You know, we were in town and home again in like within two hours. But town was so busy, and of, of course it was. You know, you've got people in there getting bits for kids like returning to school and uni and all that good stuff. You know. Um, so yeah, I, I was, it was lovely to get out. The kids, you know, they had a lovely time. And like I said, they, you know, just because of my issues, you know, it shouldn't stop me taking them out. And it, it does make me feel bad. But, um, yeah, they, they had a nice time. And Emmy's got, um, a birthday party to go to this Saturday. One of her friends from school. She's having a bowling birthday party and then um, I've got to drop her to that and then I've got to take Caden. We're going to meet my mum in town while Emmy's at the party. Drop Caden to my mum because he's going to stay at my mum's for a few nights. Um, and then mum will bring him home next Tuesday and then she's going to, my mum's going to help me swap mine and Caden's bedrooms over. So I will finally be in the master bedroom. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got some running around to do at the end of the week. I think tomorrow is going to be a, you know, I have to get down to the pharmacy and then, you know, some housework and stuff and laundry. Um, yeah, I may need to brave town Friday just to get a few more little things for Emmy's friend. I did get stuff for her for her birthday yesterday we picked up some bits in town for her and a birthday card and some little gifts and stuff but um apparently she really likes the little sheet face mask that you can get um but i didn't have enough money yesterday to get to get any so i might pop in town on friday and grab a few just to you know fill out her little present package a little bit Oh. Hi Thomas, hello my lovely, thank you for joining. I'm fast with pencils, oh my gosh Shana you're joking, <laughs> I feel like I'm really slow with them. Oh, thank you, Debska. You're an absolute sweetheart. Thank you, my love. Bless you. And likewise, you know, if I could ever help you or, or anyone else out for that matter, you know, if I could, I would in a heartbeat. Hi Amy, hi sweetheart. Thank you so much for joining. The paper, do you know, the paper is lovely. It's not really thick, but it's it's really it's really nice. It's it's got a bit of a tooth to it. It's it's quite smooth, but it you know, I'm just working on it with brute food and pencils and they're working really nicely. 
so yeah i i would highly recommend highly recommend this book it's really really cute there is another one by this artist i think there's just the two um but i didn't want to get the second one until i i had bought this one and you know just to see if if i like the artwork and and stuff like that and i really do it's beautiful <clears throat> um thomas today my lovely we are working in um crystal vogel's all small rice the uh, yeah i don't know <laughs> we're working in this very very cute very very cute book it's adorable it kind of gives me a little bit like um uh like clara markova vibes it really does so pretty I want to um give my Amazon basics pencils a, a wow as well <clears throat> take those out for a spin <laughs> oh bless Bless you, Shayna. I I still feel like I'm being really slow. I mean, yeah. To be honest, though, um, I'm really, really slow in Kirby Rosanna's books. But I enjoy the process, so I don't mind if a page takes me a couple months. You know, sometimes it's like, okay, I'm, I just want to call the page done. I you want to move on to the next thing. You know. I just want to have the page ticked off the list is done but um jane from colored with love bless her she has really got me like fallen back in love with my kirby books um but yeah i was really pleased with the um the Cyclops do that I finished the other day in Mythomorphia. Although I've looked at him and I'm like, oh, there's some areas on him that I really could do with like going back in and add a, adding more layers of pencil. But I was ready to call the page done. So, you know, I'm like, okay, look, it, it's finished. It's, it's finished, you know. But I'm, I'm still pleased and, and proud of how he turned out. I mean, geez, I think I started that last month, <laughs> so it's taken me a while, but... <clears throat> oh, that's okay, Anna, no worries. Oh, thank you. You use Prismas and Polly's in this book. Yeah, I, I don't know, I kind of get the feeling that this paper would be pretty good with a lot of pencils, you know? I can't speak from experience because I'm, I've only used the brute Bruno squares on this at the moment but um yeah they're they're working really nice <clears throat> hi Lou hello my love um Debska I have three of her books and I've always found that polychromos work beautifully on that paper the prismas do as well but just personal preference I like my um my oil-based pencils on that paper oh thank you Gielin I really appreciate it thank you Is that your Kirby books, Claire? You hadn't have coloured for a while. Yeah, that sounds about right, Penny, for his skin. I have I have got the um 
the colours written down on a post-it note and I've like stuck them to the opposite page. Um, so I've got them for like future, it's like a future colour combo for anything. <clears throat> I'm not too bad, thank you Lou. Yeah, not too bad my love, how are you doing? Hi Mona, hi gorgeous, how are you? Thank you for joining. Yeah, I was I was really happy with them um, with how he turned out. I'm just I'm wondering what um what this paper would be like if I added water to it. I'm kind of tempted to um put some watercolour in the background to be honest. The polys are the colours for your mythic world, Gollum dude. Oh, Did I, did I give the colours out in the video, Penny? Let me write them down. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose them. Um, so, um, pine green. Chrome oxide green, May green, cadmium, yellow lemon, and that's the um. Polly's for Gollum um, Mythic Round. Oh, thank you so much, Penny. Bless your heart. Was that for the the Gollum character Claire or the the Cyclops? <clears throat> I'm not too bad, thank you, Mona. Yeah, not too bad. Just you know, plodding along as we do. <laughs> You're working in fifty vacation summer fairy houses. Oh my gosh, Lou, that book is adorable. The Cyclops. Yeah, I've got the um I've got the colour combination written down for that one, Claire. Um but I I I have no idea. I mean the colour Penny's just given me a set of colours that she said is from that Gollum page, the double page spread in Mythic World. Um so yeah, I'm gonna have to pull those pencils out and have a look. Cause I'd really like to work on him. Started a page in Cozy Spaces by Raider Prince. And your prisms are struggling on the Amazon paper. Oh, bless you. Oh, no, no apologies needed, Claire. No, no need to apologise, sweetheart. Yeah, of course, Lou. Yeah, of course, sweetheart. If you, um, if you drop me a message on, like, Instagram or... Or somewhere and we can um yeah we can sort it out i i felt bad because i just had to cancel like pretty much all my buddy colors um because i just i got so overwhelmed with them and then you know with it coming up to august i was just like yeah i, I can't you know <clears throat> Oh, 
I based the Gollum dupe the cheap yes yeah it was the um it was these watercolors penny the creative peak ones excuse the cat hair you can tell they've been trying to lay in my art cart can't you um the beautiful Jodie bless her from um little pickles color colorful life she sent me the link to the pretty excellent watercolors on amazon i think you get 48 colors for like 20 quid so yeah i'm hoping to get those soon because um they look brilliant i've heard lots of good things about those as well so <clears throat> i'm not too bad thank you thomas not too bad i'm tired and my arthritis in my back is acting up a bit but you know it is what it is You've never done a buddy colour. You need to get your act together. Oh, bless you, Nicole. Well, if ever you want to do a buddy colour, Han, you know, you're always more than welcome to, like, message me on Instagram or email, or, you know, and I'm sure we can sort something out. Um, I will probably start taking them again from September. Um, but what I might do this time is just limit how many I accept because... Hi, dude, you're Hi. right. Because I, I definitely bit off more than I could chew and I got so overwhelmed that I, I ended up getting myself, you know, in a bit of a pickle. Um, and I just had to message people and say that I'm really sorry but I can't fulfil our body colour. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> yeah, I do remember using a fine liner penny. Yeah, because if I remember rightly... I. Because I I want to fix the water, but the leaves that haven't been coloured under there, I want to do them with a gel pen. Um, I either want to do a gel pen or like a metallic Calero paint. I've got a couple really really beautiful green colours that would look lovely on that. You okay? Yeah. Are you still playing with Joey? Yeah. Hi, Penny. I think that's Penny, isn't it? Silver Mist is Penny, yeah. Knew it. <laughs> and you know how to spell my name right? You get, you get a hug. <laughs> you get one hug. Penny gets a hug because she spelled your name right. <laughs> Claire? Hi! Oh, hi, Claire! <laughs> Retracted? What? I don't know. So hot. Uh, I'm just like fan myself with a piece of paper. That good? Oh, thank you, Caden. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh. That's really lovely that you guys are like arranging buddy colours as well. I love that. Absolutely love that. <clears throat> okay, so let's pull these purples just down onto these little these little flowers here, shall we? Um let's do I want to try and leave like a white sort of tip, I think, on the edge of these petals. So let's just see what we can do. I'm not too worried about going over those little the bits here in the middle because I can just um, go back over that with like a white gel pen. Yeah, I've just been trying to sort of be a bit more mindful recently as well of, of keeping my pages kind of cohesive and not not adding too many colours 
because I've noticed before that when I've done that and I've thought, oh, well, like, for example, I'd be like, oh, well, let's do this little hat orange and, you know, she can be pink and blah, 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 blah. And then I end up with, <sighs> not that it's a bad thing having lots of colours on a page, but I think sometimes some of the, some of the elements of the page can get a little bit lost if you've got a lot of colour going on. I'm not saying it's the same for every page, but it's just something that I've noticed with things that I've coloured. So I've been trying to be a lot more mindful recently of, you know, what what colours I'm, I'm adding to a page and trying to keep the palette cohesive but limited, you know. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do the mermaid yet but I think if I if I can just stick to like colouring the things that I know what colours I want them to be and then I can figure the rest out let's you know do it that way I need a back rub <laughs> Yeah, back rub would be good, but um, yeah, I I think I, I think it will just help once I've got my anti-inflammatories and my pain meds from the pharmacy. I think that will help, and um, I'm gonna have a, a bath tonight once the kids are settled, um, and then you know hopefully that might in turn not just help my pain, but that should hopefully help um, me sleep as well. You know, um, okay, I am going to cheat a little bit. She says, and, and I can't find it. <clears throat> Hi, Callie. Hello, my lovely. Thank you for joining. Oh, don't worry, Gila. No worries. It's it's one of those names. I think you can spell it so many different, so many different ways. You know. Um. But yeah, I am going to cheat a little bit. I'm pulling out. A white prisma just to um you know put the white edge in here around the edge of the the edge of the petal It's my fault for putting too much of a point on it. And then I will grab the... I can like find it get my white jelly roll back out <clears throat> oh bless him penny is he all right let me shut the dinner on oh make sure you take it easy though hon okay be careful you don't overdo it right so i'm just gonna go back with the white jelly roll now and just tidy up where I've sort of gone over this centre bit with some pencils. I'm just gonna put this white back in. I don't think I wanna add like a, a yellow or anything like that in the centre. I quite like just having the white. And then I just bring that down. The 
sides of these petals as well. Yeah, I might um, just try a little bit of watercolour in the background later. I don't want to do like the whole the whole background if that makes sense but sort of here on like this bit of the page do you know what I mean where like we've got around the lotus flowers and the lily pads and things like that but I want to do like a a, a blue turquoise colour <clears throat> Callie, this one is available on Amazon, sweetheart. Um, it is available on Amazon UK at the moment, but I'm not sure which Amazon you use. But if you want, after the live stream, I have put the my affiliate link for Amazon UK to purchase the book. That's in the description at the minute, just until I add all the other information. But I can have a look. Um, I can have a look on... Um, the other Amazons for you or you know see if it's available anywhere else online and see if I can find a link for you if that would help um his name is spelt k-a-d-y-n my son's name <laughs> It's, it's one of those, and the same, you know, like with Tegan, or, you know, there's a couple of ways that you can spell Emmy, and it's like, there's, you know, so many different, I think, ways you could spell those kind of names, you know. Callie, that's not a problem, Han. Which which Amazon do you normally use, sweetheart? And I'll have a look for you. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's such a shame about book depository, isn't it? There were some really beautiful Korean books there that I had my eye on. Um, but yeah, miss miss the boat, miss the boat on those. But it's okay. It's not as if you know. I'm short on things to colour. Okay, so a bit of a random question for you all. Um, <clears throat> on the channel, would would you rather just see me work on whatever page? You know, you, you don't really mind, you know, you're just sort of here for the chit chat. Or do you prefer me working on a certain page and you don't mind seeing it in the same live stream or video for like, you know, a couple of times? What's what's everyone's preference? Because I sometimes I, I I struggle. I'm like, well, would people get bored of me colouring the same page, or you know, is it do people prefer for me to change it up? You know, it would be nice to just hear what you guys think. You know, and another reason I ask is because I'm I'm really loving using pencils at the moment. Um, sometimes, you know, if, if my arthritis in my hands is particularly bad, then, you know, there's not going to be so much pencil work going on. Um, but I didn't know just the kind of content and how often you guys think it's yeah or sorry how many times i can work on one page on the channel without you getting bored of seeing the same thing you know yeah 
know, I, I know, you know, it's important for me to colour what I want to colour. And that's, that's fine. But it would just be nice to sort of just hear what you guys think as well. Whatever inspires me in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I'm just, I'm feeling really quite inspired at the moment to pull out whips and try and get this list down a bit, you know, because I still think I'm, I'm either just over or just below the 100 mark on like how many whips and, uh, it, it yeah, it's, it's driving me nuts. But there's pages that I know I have worked on several times on the channel already. And it's like, okay, if I bring those pages back, are people going to be bored of, of seeing that again? Or, you know, do you guys not mind... It's just, you know, I was just interested to, to hear, you know, hear what you guys think, really. Your opinion matters. You know, I've, I've always said that this is, is your channel as much as it is mine. You know, and so I want to, I want to be putting content out that you guys are enjoying as well, you know. <clears throat> I like all the whips, I don't watch. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hi, Charlotte. Hello, my love. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. It's really good to see you. We were having that conversation yesterday, weren't we, Penny, about, like, you know, because um, you said that you would, you know, spend so much time, like, chopping up, like, the vegetables and stuff yesterday that your dad had, had grown himself. Um, and I can just imagine how much better that tastes without all the um, the pesticides and stuff that the... Is it pesticides? I don't know if that's the right word. But they're, like, you know, that they... that people who supply to big um, supermarkets and stuff, you know, what they spray on the, the, the fruit and the vegetables and stuff before it gets pre-packed. I can just imagine how much nicer it tastes, just like, you know, straight out of the ground, give it a wash. It's like just the absolute most fresh you can get. <clears throat> Yeah, I've, I've, the thing is, Nicole, I'll be honest, I've done it before, um, and I don't mind, I, you know, like I said, this is your channel as much as it is mine, um, but I just don't want to be working on stuff that people are like, oh my god, like this again, isn't that old, or haven't we seen this already, um, you know, I, I don't know. I worry. I think I said this, didn't I, earlier in the, in the stream. I'm such a worrier. It's, yeah. That white looks a bit too white against that now, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm just... You know, because it sounds silly as well, is I tend to avoid a book if I know it's got a whip in it. Because I think I can't move on to another page in that book until that one's done. You know? Pull 
pesticides in the correct way. Yay! <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was something like that, but I couldn't... I couldn't 100% remember and I was like, oh, well, you know, it's not like I've not made a fool of myself on the channel before, so <laughs> let's just take it a guess. So I want to use some different greens for these leaves, so I'm thinking more like an olivey green for these, but I think these little bits here and on the edges of these leaves here, what I'll probably do is, um, uh, I will pull out my, I'll pull out my water-based markers because I'm pretty much out of fine liners. So what I'll probably do is, um, it won't be in today's video, but I'll grab my bag that's got my Crayola Super Tips and Statler dual ended in because the Statlers on one side, they've got that really I don't know if you can see it, they've got that really nice sort of like fine point. I'll use that to colour these little vines and, and bits and pieces and try and get into them with that. But I think I'll leave that until after I've uh, done the watercolour. Yeah, I, I still start new pages, Nicole, but I find like, so say for example, this, this book had a whip in it, I'd be like... I can't start another page in that book until this whip's done. You know? Um, yeah. I, I'm quite hard on myself that way, really. Yeah, I get it, Penny. Because I was wondering if one of those chopping things that I was talking about the other day, where it's like, um, you've got like the container on the bottom, and then it looks like it's got like a grid on the top, like the the crisscross thing, and then you put your vegetable or whatever on it, and then you push the lid down, and it just dices it for you, and it all goes into the container. I was thinking, oh, I wonder if something like that might be handy for you as well, like when we were talking yesterday. And you said about all this stuff that you had to chop up. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, like one of those like might be handy for you to get, you know? Because I, I plan on getting one. Um, it'll probably have to be when the kids are back at school now, but just to help me with with chopping and, and dicing stuff because I I do struggle. Don't get me wrong, I bought an, a really beautiful set of new kitchen knives um a couple of weeks ago because the knife block that I've got I've had for years. The knives are terrible. They honestly you couldn't even cut a block of cheese with it. It's ridiculous. Um so I did treat myself to a new set of kitchen knives. Um <clears throat> But I think when it comes to dicing and stuff, and especially if you've got, you know, like you, where you've got a lot of stuff to, to prep, um, or, you know, like me, and I, and I have my dexterity issues, um, I just thought something like that would be, like, quite nifty to, to have in the kitchen. I like to keep it bigger for roasting. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The one thing that is is, you know, it's it's just gonna be a constant battle with me is peeling potatoes to make like roast potatoes. Um yeah, I struggle sort of holding the potato in one hand and trying to peel it with the other. Um I think it was Jody, who was saying the other day you can get like the um the pre-peeled potatoes and stuff and i have bought that from asda before but i it just tasted weird so yeah i don't know Yeah. 
yeah, they look really nifty, don't they, Charlotte? I was like, that would be so handy to just have, like, in the utensil drawer. Do you know what I mean? And if you're preparing, like, you know, a salad or um, if you're doing, uh, making, like, a salsa or, um, like, carrot and turnip mash, anything like that, where you just, like, dice the, the stuff before you cook it or before you prep it into, like, a salad or whatever. I just thought it would be so nifty, you know? Um, and really quick, get it done a lot quicker. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just I'm looking at this page now, and I'm thinking, okay, so I've used the same combo for his outfit and these flowers, but if I use that for these um, water lilies. It's going to be too much. So I think I might, excuse me, I might still keep the two, the medium and light colour out. Put this, excuse me, this one back and pull in a more pinky colour. Hmm. Or actually, no, put the two purples back, keep the dusky pink out and then pull out. You know, so I'm still keeping that tone in there, but just, yeah. Oh, she's got a, f I've just realised <clears throat> our mermaid has got a f one of these flowers in her hair. So let's do that. Well, at least I spotted that before I put the pencil away. So what's everyone's plans for the rest of the the rest of the day and and tomorrow? What are you all going to be up to? I am. Um, I tried watching the third film in the Hunger Games series the other night, but I was just so distracted by like my pain and stuff. I I just wasn't taking it in properly. So I think I need to start the third film from scratch and because I just wasn't, I was watching it but I wasn't taking it in if that makes sense and I, I can't remember what was going on. <clears throat> so um Yeah, maybe I'll uh, do that later. Watch it whilst, um, like, you know, just before the kids are going to bed. And then have a bath and try and get settled for the night. Yeah, I, I'm really quite liking these Prufina pencils. I think they're lovely. I think for a, a budget-friendly set of pencils, you know, 25 quid for 120 pencils, you can't you can't grumble, can you? He's going to try and... Oh, I missed that. He's going to try and grow... Sorry, Penny, I missed that, my love. Try and grow his own garlic. Oh, nice. Oh, asparagus. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Penny. They would be so handy, wouldn't they? And they'd be a, a real time saver as well, I imagine. Hi, Courtney. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, bless you, Penny. Will you have to be out for long, Han? Oh, that sounds good, Charlotte. Have you got a, a colour theme in mind for your dining room? <clears throat> yeah, they are. They're working really nicely. And considering this is my first time using them just like standalone without sort of shading over marker or anything and really sort of giving them like a, a test drive i'm i'm really really pleased with them hubby and i are having a movie date night tonight oh that would be lovely nicole Doctor's appointment and then pottering around and colouring. Tube paints into empty pans to make it easier. So that's like um um hang on. So like these. I've got two of the these little Cotman watercolour tubes. I've got sap green and is it phthalo blue? The other one? yeah so you would just squirt some of these into like an empty like the little white pan boxing and dry it out yeah that sounds nifty so do you just have like an empty palette for that then claire so you can like make up your own palette with whatever paints you want to make a set that sounds really nice do they take long to dry out then mid grey warm pewter from Dulux oh that sounds lovely Charlotte yeah that sounds really good oh see sounds like everyone's being really productive Bless you. Right, so I think I'm probably going to leave the page here for today. Um, <clears throat> uh, a couple of reasons. One, we're pushing two hours on the the clock for the stream now. Um, my back is really sort of starting to <laughs> niggle me now where I've been sort of sat at the desk. So I'm going to... Um, sort the kids out some dinner and uh and then I can just chill out and prop myself up with like some pillows and stuff behind me for a while but I am going to continue to work on this because I'm not I'm not ready to stop coloring on this yet <laughs> but um no I'm I'm really enjoying it hi abuela welcome thank you for joining um yeah so i think what i'm gonna do is uh like i said just you know call this a stream now for today um and then depending how far i am on this if it's not finished then maybe we can work on it again together on saturday's live stream but if not i am really really tempted to work on that um you know this dude that i showed you earlier where's that book gone this one, Mythic World, the um, this double page spread. I'm really, really tempted to work on him. Um, I might get my um, Neo Color Twos out to do a, a sunset background um, and do that. <clears throat> and then you know. If I'll, I'll check out those pencils that um, Penny gave me the, the list for, this one. I'm going to try them out. Because I'm not 100% happy with his hair, but it's done. You know, it's got colour on it. It's it's fine. I really like his eye. I'm on him. He's turning out. I'm really, really liking that. And like these rocks and stuff on his, on his shell. So really, it's there's still quite a bit to be 
Arlo, really? What you doing? What? <laughs> what, baby? What you doing? Hmm? All about the bags, huh? All about the bags. Um, yeah, I, I will work on this in my own time, but I would really like to kind of bring bring this back, I think, and, and, and get this done. Because like I said, Jane from uh, Coloured With Love is just really made me fall back in love with Kirby's work. And it's funny because when I was de-stashing my books a while ago, I, I de-stashed my Anamorphia book. I've kept all my other Kirby books, but I de-stashed the Anamorphia. And now I'm like, uh, it's it's in a bag in the other room with the other books that I'm I'm planning on getting rid of. But now I'm like, I might pull that book back out. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm, you know, I'm I'm just I I love it. Look at this. I, you know, I know that there's not a single page in the book that I don't want to colour. That was the first one that I've done in here. And I was really, really proud of how that page turned out. But, um, you know, need to, need to get a wiggle on with some of these books. The only thing is Kirby pages take me forever. And I think Penny can vouch for me because we had a buddy colour, didn't we, in, uh, Mythomorphia, and I think that took me like a year and a half. <laughs> so, but yeah. Anyway, it'll be it'll be one of these pages on Saturday. I I highly likely think it'll be the the one that I've just shown you. Um. But yeah, thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to join me. As as always, I really really appreciate it. <clears throat> oh thank you sue and thank you for for popping in i really appreciate it yeah and i can't have an incomplete <laughs> i'm like i know penny i know the thing is i you know there's there's a few books you know a few sets that they're not complete um that don't really bother me but uh, I, I, I don't know I think I want to give that I want to give Anamorphia another look you know because that was one of my first ever books I had as well I mean this is a, a, a you know a, a new copy to what my original to my original one but yeah I'm gonna go in and grab that book in a minute I think I've got two copies I've got a hardback version and the regular the regular one but anyway, I'm 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 blubbering, <laughs> blabbering. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure as always, and thank you so much as well for your feedback on you know on what I colour on the channel. That it really helps because I worry a lot. So to know that you guys are more than happy to see me work on the same page, like you know, yeah, let's that's really nice actually and that will help me pull out um some books to work in for september so yeah i'll um i'll have to you know start thinking about what i want to work in next month ready to do my what i plan to color in september video but um i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day um and you know an evening and a, and a great day tomorrow and for those of you who um who do join Jane's live streams. I will link Jane's channel actually down in the description for you. Um, Jane over at Coloured with Love. She normally streams Monday to Friday, six till eight um, UK time. So if she's streaming tomorrow um, and you're going to be there, then highly likely I will see you there. <laughs> but um, yeah, take care so much, everyone. Thank you for the wonderful company. It's been a pleasure as always and I will see you soon. Lots of love everyone. Bye!